don't forget to like this video thumbs up comments and subscribe to my youtube channel please please support your girl please just hit the red button and support me thank you very much god bless you welcome back to my youtube channel guys there is something i want to show you today how you can cook or save money you know we live in germany so not everybody have money to go and make a big rosé every day so if you are somebody who like to cook afternoon food maybe you have two children three children plus you that is making four so with this five euro with this five euro this is five euro I don't know if you are seeing it very well it's just five euro with this five euro let's see what we can get in supermarket so we are going to supermarket to go and get something for afternoon food this is like past five minutes after 11 so hopefully 12 o'clock we are we'll be able to finish the food so that the children will eat so let's see what we will get with five euro so guys let's go and i'm going to today there's one shopping uh, where we used to shop today it's called Lead. Chicken la. Let's go and cook. 
came back from this blog i went to take off my clothes because it's very very important right now what is going on if you go anywhere you have to come inside and change your clothes before you start cooking and also don't forget to wash your hands before you start cooking you wash your hands thoroughly and grab some paper and wipe the hand thoroughly before you start cooking so right now i'm going to make what is called brass kartoffi brass kartoffi with chicken of course the chicken we get and i'm going to show you the method which german people cook the prepare the kartoffi so i'm going to use like the method they used to do traditional method i don't want to use the method that we learn so we put it inside the pot without not peeling not washing so you see how many we need i'm cooking for two children and me so of course for three people so i'm going to put it here what i miss here very quick i just want to say it very quick what i miss here is um one cube of mangi rosemary which everybody knows is rosemary and um curry paprika powder and um just little bit olivia so i'm going to pour it inside and mix together so i just want to mix together and voila we have it it's done so what we just have to do is to put it in the back oven we put it in into the oven german call it back oven that is why you see right now you say back oven but they call it oven in nigeria so i just want to put it inside the oven and grill it this is our afternoon food this is the food of five euro how is looking so yummy and so, this is i'm going to push it now inside the oven of course as you can see this is the oven so i make now open and put this chicken inside the oven for 45 minutes and uh, 180 degrees as you can see very much here so and let's check our irish potato is boiling very very much and um, now i want to bring it out also and peel it and then we start uh, baking so uh, i want to start peeling off the the irish potato because i leave it to cool off with some little bit so that it's too hot and um if you have a little bit just a small knife it's good to do it so you peel it this way Of course, you don't leave the Irish potato to done very, very much. You can, you can see when I started cutting that it's not, it's not really, really done. You just do it half done, like five minutes process, and uh, you bring it out and peel the body out, and and then you cut it to the type you want. Me, I do normally cut this way. I cut this way if I want to do Irish potato. I cut it this way. I don't like it when it's too small. I don't like it when it's too big. So. You just do for what work for you. You do what work for you. So you just do what work for you. You cut it the way you want. I love to cut it this way. See? Not too big. Not too small. So you do for what work for you. So you get it. So we don't need too much oil. Just a little bit. As you can see, it's not too much. So just look it. It's not too much quantity. We don't want too much. We don't want it to soak too much oil, or we don't still want it to dry up. So I'm putting it inside the pot. So this is how I make my brat kartoffel. So I make sure I separate some of it because it's not really really done. Because it's half done. Don't forget, it's half done. You don't process it like you don't cook it finished before you start. You make it half done so that you get the taste of the brat kartoffel. German call it brat kartoffel. I learned it from my from my uh, mother-in-law because she's a German. So it's very it tastes very very good. I think you like it. So this is how. And please don't make it too high. As you can see, I just make it. Now I want to take it out from the pot and put another one because this is not going to be enough for. As I said, we are three people. Yummy. Yeah, this is the second one, and this was the first one. So, we are on it, guys. This is how we cook. Yeah, this is how we cook. 
cook, cook, cook. So this is what five euro food came out of. This is the chicken, and this is the brat katofi with Irish potato. So I made it with Irish potato, but we call it in German brat katofi. So this is what you can serve your children every afternoon, and they will be so happy. They will be so happy when they come back from school to see something like this delicious set on the table. So, so I have some brush. So, I challenge you to cook it at home. It's very, very easy. Cook it for your children, for your husband, for your guests. Maybe you want to invite me, I'm there. So, so you cook it at home also. Try to cook it at home. It's very, very easy. Please like this video, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you next time. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.